And welcome back. We are going to talk about clout. That's what Naomi just told me. Interesting concept. It, and there's. It, there's a little bit of a competition here. People were comparing numbers yeah. in the break. Good morning, Naomi. Good morning. So when you said, uh, what do I want to be when I grow up? Did you think you wanted to be a social media influencer? Mm, never <laughs> invented. The phrase was never around. <laughs> now that's around. Now that's what people are talking about. It's something that just about anybody can do, if, again, if you put your work into it. There's a site that's been around for a while, but I want to talk more about it because people are asking about how do you become a social media manager. Well, you have to have an influence. You can't just focus again on the numbers and a lot of people are focusing on how many followers how many likes I have but a lot of those can be bought a lot of those are mm -hmm. fake you know what people are going to be looking at as far as when they're looking to hire you and even when advertisers want to you know you can get paid you can get paid pretty good if you have a good influence what they want to see is conversations if you're just blasting things out and nobody's replying nobody's having a conversation with you you're not really an influencer is what they call it so how do you measure that how you're, it's, it's really kind of tough to say. I like to say by engagement. I'm not focused on the numbers. It's cool to say I have a lot of followers, but at the same time, when I tweet something out, I want people to talk back. I don't want to talk to myself. So there's a site. It's been around for quite a while. It's called Clout, K-L-O-U-T, and that's probably the most popular way that people use to figure out how influential you are online. So you thought you were out of high school and college. You don't have to be graded anymore. I pulled up Joe's cloud score the other day. You have a 51. Oh it's about God. average. It could be worse. It could be better. But I think I had Martin. 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 I'm a little bit upset. The competitive come out, but he has a 63. I think I only had a 56. But what they do is if you connect your social media accounts, it tells about how many followers, how you're engaging. And if you have a good cloud score, this is what can happen. You get what's called clout perks. So you get to be the first to try out different products, to review certain things. You know, my little Moo business cards, I always brag because I get them from Clout Perks because if you have a certain influence, hey, I tell everybody I get my cards from Moo.com, so I get certain perks from having a good influence online. So is that something... Is it clout.com? Like, how do yes. you? It, okay. Yep. And it's very simple. You set up your Twitter, your Facebook. I think you can do Google and all your social media accounts, and it'll pull in your followers, how you're engaging, how often you're doing. There's another one that I found that's kind of cool. It's called Twitterland, where it will tell you a kind of same thing, a grading score, but it also will tell you for how many hundred tweets I do, how many at replies do I get, how many retweets do I get. So it pulls in a lot more information than just giving you a number. It can kind of give you some value, how many followers I have, how many um, people are at replying and conversating with me. You can connect your social media accounts. I think Twitter and Instagram and Facebook on that. My goodness, mind boggling. So, you should have started yesterday if you want to start building your <laughs> social media influence. It's continually, you have to keep doing it on a daily basis. You can't just set it up and say, hey, now I have 10,000 followers. I don't have to do anything. I'm a big deal on online. You have to kind of really work at it. And we can't just but, smile and say, thank you, Naomi. <laughs> She's now our uh, social media director here at the station, so we have to obey your every word. <laughs> I sure will, ma'am. Okay. I'll get right on it. Okay. <laughs> I feel more pressure, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> right. on. Good stuff, Naomi. Thank you. We'll be back, everybody.